Hey guys, welcome back to Mean Mug and Monday. My mug today says Monday's Stink and it has a picture of a cute little skunk on it. Uh, usually Mondays don't stink. I usually love Mondays, but I got maybe three hours of sleep last night, so not my favorite day so far. So as always, we're gonna be talking about the business of your best life, and today we're gonna focus on focus. How do you stay focused? How do you make sure that you get things done without running all over the place and forgetting things? So I'm going to go over my top tips on how to stay focused. Number one, obviously keep planners so that I know kind of what my priorities are each day. Uh, so I have kind of the highlight of each day. I know what events I have going on and what things and tasks I need to complete. But one of the other big things that I do is I do what is called calendar blocking. So if you don't quite know what this is, uh, there are two different people who have videos on this. Abby Emmons and Amy Landino both have videos on this. I will link them down in the description box below. But pretty much what you do is you block out everything on your calendar. Like on Google Calendar, most of us have that. On mine, I have, you know, wake up and drink coffee, and then I have my workout or run, and then I have shower and eat, um, and then, that's when the rest of the day begins and you literally block out those chunks of time. So if you have an event that is somewhere else that you need to get to, you also block in the time to drive there. And that way also it makes it so that you don't have to wonder when you're going to get something done because you've already blocked out the time on your calendar. You don't have to try to juggle it. Next up is something very, very simple. It is setting a timer so that you can really kind of focus on that task for that amount of time. Most people can't actually keep focus for longer than about 20 to 30 minutes. And there's actually an app for that. <laughs> One, most of us all have timers on our phones, but two, there's actually a, an app called Forest and it has a 25 minute timer as the standard. So I actually set my Forest app and you can watch the tree grow throughout the timer. And then at the end you have your little plant and you earn some points. And then at the end you can cash it in to actually plant a real tree. Now, a lot of times when we all try to focus, we get kind of bombarded by the cacophony of sounds that surround us. Um, so one thing that I do is I love going to ambientmixer.com and picking out a soundscape. Um, a lot of people like to listen to music and that is awesome. There are so many possibilities of different kinds of music and different sources for music for you to listen to while you work. I, however, do better with no words and just an, a background sound. So my favorite is the Gryffindor common room. I like listening to the fire, people stirring their mugs. And the best thing about ambient mixer is that you can actually adjust the levels of each layer of sound. So if you don't want to hear the people talking, you can mute that. I will put a link to that down in the description. It is free to use. Another great thing to do is just to change the location. So a lot of times we get kind of stuck in a rut, especially if you work from home. It can get a little difficult sometimes to focus when you're so used to being in just this one room. <laughs> so it actually makes it kind of nice to change up the location sometimes. One last thing that I do, especially as a parent uh, who works from home, is I do actually have a sign on my door. And when my door is closed, you see that sign before you touch the door. It, I've posted it before on my Instagram, and it is something that says, you know, yes, it is pretty, I will take a look at it later. Yes, I know you're hungry, the kitchen is in the opposite direction. Just to kind of remind my kid that this is the dedicated time that I have that I'm working right now, and I really need this time to focus. Um, I also make sure that my kid is kind of set up with a project of her own so that she's busy on something, and unless she absolutely needs help with it, I am left to my own devices in my office to get some work done. A lot of times, if you're stuck, um, and you can't really think about what you're doing at the time, getting that little bit of motivation and inspiration from another person can kind of be the springboard to get you going for the rest of your day. So thank you guys so much for letting me be a part of your day today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel so you know when I come out with new videos every Monday and Thursday. So let me know what kind of tips you would add to this list and add them down in the comments below. I wanna see how you guys stay focused and I will see you guys on Thursday. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but my kid is having an online class right now. So I'm pretty sure her other classmates can hear me right now. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can hear them, but I can. I sure can. It's a great class though. <laughs>